All right, Sean Wong, Sean Wong. Call Hung Lai Ma. You hang about Shimmy Outshai, about Shimmy Kakadash. Those are the names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the word in me calls God. In the name of His Son, I'm going to say Yahweh Shai, who the word in me calls Jesus Christ. In the name of the Holy Spirit, I'd like to give a double honor to my elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, to give peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad. All right, and to the Aqua, the few sisters that are listening, and learning to you, I say Sean Wong. All right, coming back at you with another lesson to the Spirit of Power, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, go win, tear the fire, fit the limbs, and Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, praise, and let's be able to find a straight to the point. All right, and it's just going to be in, in the news lesson, all right, for the things, all right, <laughs> just, you know, profiling three articles and, you know, backing it up with scriptures, all right, so this is not really going to be too long. I'm going to try not to make it long, but, you know, not a spirit worse, but nevertheless, all right, let's. Let's read a couple of articles, a few articles, man, and just, you know, back up with scriptures and show you what's in the news and what's going on, man, because, hey, we're in those times, man, okay? So this first article I'm going to read here, this is from NBCNews.com. It reads, Biden says Americans can remove their mask and resume, you know what, work-life routines, all right? So, hmm, <laughs> you know, things that make you go, hmm. What's going on here, all right? Because, as you all know, they done looked at those so-called mandates, all right? The, you know, the juice mandates, all right? So, these states delivering those mandates, all right? You know? So, now this. So, what is going on, all right? What What's, what's next, all right? And basically, you people really believe that you're going to return to a, a so-called normal life, man. Okay, especially you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Look, life is not going back to normal, okay? It's not going to go back to normal. I don't care what this, you know, <laughs> what this article says, man, all right? What Biden say or what, hey, look, life is not going to go back to normal, man, okay? It's not going to go back to normal, all right? Because, hey, they're preparing you for the next thing, man. And what's that next thing? The MOTB, man. All right, the juice mandates didn't work, so they're going to get you with the other thing that's coming, that these devils got coming next, okay? So, hey, look, the uh, the elect is not ignorant of Esau's devices, man. As a matter of fact, let me open up with that scripture, all right? Because like it says, man, Second Corinthians 2 and verse 11, at least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, we're not ignorant of this devil's devices, all right? We already know what this devil's got some. He's got something else cooked up, all right? Because he couldn't get the people with the the whole pandemic thing. He couldn't get them with the, <laughs> with the you know, the juice mandates, okay? So now he's about to come with something else. And, of course, uh, he's basically, you know, whatever, you know, basically focusing on uh, Russia and the Ukraine, all right? So something else. These devils going to try to bring something else, man. All right? So, hey, we got to be circumspect, man. All right? And as a matter of fact, let me get that. Let me get that. First, what's that? Ephesians 5 and 15. All right? Let's get this. All right? Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you are circumspectly. All right? Circumspectly means to look around. Look about. Pay attention. Pay attention to the prophets prophecies all right listening to the prophets okay of course you got to listen to the prophets man okay paying attention to prophecy watching the prophecies man all right staying occupied in prophecy all right because that's what the men of the lord do stand on our watch okay stand on our watch god damn it's lucky <laughs> but hey look you got to under you got to know the times that we in man all right this is, let's read this again, Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil, okay? Because, hey, these devils telling you, oh, peace and safety, peace and safety, you know, peace and safety. All right, that's what they're saying now. Oh, you can go back to a normal life, man. You can do this. You can go back to, you know, <laughs> you know, normal life. Everything is going to return back. Come on, man. Something's up, man. All right? And hey, the elect, we can see that something else is coming and something else is up, man. Okay? Because, man, please. 
All right, like I said, redeem the time because the days are evil. We redeem the time. We're watching. Okay, all right. We stand on our watch. Verse seventeen. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord Yahweh is. Verse eighteen. And be not drunk with wine. What's that wine? The philosophies, the philosophies of this world, getting caught up in this world. All right. Like it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, man. Okay. All right. Wherein is success. But be filled with the Spirit. You guys stay with the Spirit, man. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. All right? Discerning the times, man. Okay? That's, man. that's I know I'm going to go back to the articles. All right? But, hey, that's the Spirit telling me to get these scriptures, man. All right? <clears throat> this is uh, Second Israel chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in the cell. And that's what we do. We measure in the times diligently. All right? So, hey. We're not ignorant of what's coming, man, all right? Because, hey, these dumb Americans, they're falling for it, man. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, we can go back to normal. We can go back to the clubs. We can go back to going out to eat and all of this stuff, man. Look, like I say, man, the day of the Lord is going to catch a lot of you uh, Americans off guard, man, especially you two-third Israelites, man, okay? So, hey, look, we measuring the time diligently. We're staying on our watch. And when we see something, we blow that trumpet, all right? Second Israel is 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, okay? You're seeing the uproars, all right? Look what's going on in Russia and the Ukraine, man, okay? That's an uproar. All right, basically a rumor of war. All right, you're gonna see a lot of that, man. All right, China and India is threatening war. Okay, so hey, these nations, they about to get ready for World War Three. But first, we got to get that MOTB. All right, the MOTB's got to be made mandatory, and that's the next thing to come, man. All right, and like I say, the damage's been done, man. All right. And you think you're going to return back to so-called normal, man? The damage has already been done, man. Okay? All right? You see hype. You see inflation. Everything is going up. Gas is going up. You can fill up your car. All right? Yesterday, I was on the bus, man. All right? Actually, I'm going to start two days ago. All right? The day before, all right? Because I'll be paying attention to the, uh, you know, the prices of gas and see go up. The day before it was three twenty nine, and then yesterday when I was on the bus and I looked, it's now three hundred. It's now three dollars and forty nine cents, man. Three dollars and forty nine cents. Then at the other gas station, it was uh, three dollars and fifty four cents. Now it's three dollars and fifty nine cents. So gas is going up, man. Everything is going up from your gas to fill up your car, to heat up your house. To the food, hyperinflation. Inflation is setting in pretty soon. Hyperinflation is going to set in, man. Okay? So, hey, we measuring the times. We're watching things. And, hey, we've been warning you of these times, man. We're warning you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, of the times that we're in. All right? Verse 4. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, man. So the end is being manifest, all right? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so let's go back to this article, all right? So, hey, don't get caught off guard with this whole, <laughs> this thing here, man, all right? Because these devils tell you, oh, things going to go back to normal. Things going to, you know, go back to pre, you know, you see, you see it. I'm not going to read it. Well, let's read a little bit of this. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but let's read a little bit of this, okay? It says, President Joe Biden said in his State of the Union speech Tuesday night that the world has reached a new moment in the blank, blank, you see it, and called on Americans to begin resuming their pre, you know what, work and lifestyle routines, all right? So, hey, look, <laughs> don't be blind by this, man, all right? Don't get caught off guard. Because this is a trick, all right? This is a trick, all right? And hey, don't 
be blind by this shit, man. All right, the elect is not going to be the seed. Two-thirds of you Israelites, <laughs> y'all going to be the seed, man, okay? Because you believe, hey, because, yeah, look, man, two-thirds of you Israelites, you believe anything that this damn devil says, man. And the Bible specifically tells you, never trust thy enemy, man. Never trust your enemy, all right? Let's read a little bit more. It says, because of the progress we made, because of your resilience and the tools we have tonight, I can say we are moving forward safely back to more normal routines. <laughs> oh, boy, that's that peace and safety, man. All right? Second, it's not saying that's going to slog you. First Thessalonians 5 and 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them. All right. So, hey, don't don't be caught off guard, man. All right. And hey, and this is a distraction, man. Nothing but a distraction to, hey, to get you simple bird brain Americans to believe, oh, we're going to go back to normal. No, nah, man, they ain't going back to normal. OK. Uh, I'm not going to read all of this. And like I say, man, I'll put these articles in the description box. Let's get some more. I got some more I want to show. Um, Let's see. Yeah, let's go here. All right, because I find this interesting, man. All right, and hey, you already know what these devils are getting ready for. The next thing, man. All right, this is from DailyMail.com. It says the end of ATMs in Australia. Thousands of cash machines are removed across the country as bank goes digital. Hmm. This is what they up to, man. Come on, man. Like I say. The elect is not ignorant of Esau's devices, man. And this is what they and this is what it's all gonna come down to. Alright? The end of ATM machines in um Australia, the same thing is gonna happen here in Babylon, man. So you have to be on your watch. Okay? Hey, watch the prophecies, man. Stay occupied in prophecy. Okay? This is what these devils are up to. This is the next thing that's gonna come. Alright? Digital. All right, we all know what that digital, the MOTB is, that digital tag, man. All right, the CHIP. This is next. This is the next thing that's going to come. All right, so they're going to call some type of, you know what, some type of terrorist or whatever the case may be, whatever they might do. All right, to, hey, to usher in this new digital currency. Let's read a little bit of this. The 18. ATM and banks branch across our areas are continuing to close a, at a rapid rate. Hmm. <laughs> switched by customers to digital banking, seeing big four banks switch their focus. ANZ, head of the distribution, Kate Kath Bray, says changes were a clear sign of the times. <laughs> of course. Let's a little bit of this. It says, an Australia bank continues to focus on digital transactions for customers. ATMs and bank branches are disappearing across the country according to data. New data. And hey, the same thing is going to come here to Babylon. They're going to close the banks. They're going to get rid of the ATM machines. Okay? The same thing that's going on in Australia is going to happen here in Babylon, man. All right? So like we say, don't let that day get you caught off guard, man. Okay? Because, hey, this is what they coming with next. All right? The MOT to the B, man. All right? It said the analysts revealed close, close to 460 bank branches have shut down across the nation in recent years. And dating back to 2020, approximately 3,800 previously active ATMs has been removed. Golly. Come on, man. All right, we all know where this is headed, okay? NSW alone now has has 140 fewer in store banks and almost 300 stubs don't have a similar ATM withdraw to withdraw cash. Hmm, <laughs> okay. It is a similar story in Victoria where 120 branches has permanently closed their doors to customers. And hey, come on, man. The same thing is going to happen here. 
we telling you, man, we're getting close and close and close to our salvation, man. So, hey, let these devils do what they got to do, man. This is a part of the NWO. No banks, all right? If you want, you, you know, if you want your, you know, your so-called money, your so-called benefits, hey, you got to take that, the M-O-T to the B, man, okay? Got to watch my words because you know how East Side them is. Closures have a devastating impact on local communities, finance sec sector union, National Secretary Julia, excuse me, Anna Gracino Grassin said, all right, so hey, you see, it says, as Australian banks continue to go digital, ATMs are becoming rapidly redundant, according to a new data, all right. So, <laughs> no more ATM, man. All right, you see? No more ATM machines. And hey, that same thing is coming here to Babylon. Ooh, look at that. All right? That same thing is coming here to Babylon, the great America, man. Come on. All right? This is what they up to. All right? Let's see. I got another article. Um... Yeah, actually, yeah, let me, let's get this, all right, just, let's just let me what's in the news, all right, this is in the news lesson, all right, somebody, <clears throat> the, uh, the brother from New York, uh, the brother, Amawan Gabar, was talking about this, $10 toothpaste, <laughs> $10 toothpaste, man, so your basic necessities are about to get ready to go up, man, all right, Ten dollar toothpaste, all right. Deodorant's about to go up. Toothpaste, uh, mouthwash, soap, you name it, all of it's about to go up. Okay. Let's read a little bit of this. Focus. Ten dollar toothpaste. U.S. household good make makers face blowback on price hikes. It says. Get ready for the ten dollar tube of toothpaste. All right, so get ready, man. Hyperinflation. Okay, so these things are at the door. They are no longer around the corner, man. All right, they are at the door now. All right, and I'll put this in the description box. All right, I'm just going through some articles, man. I'm making this long. <clears throat> All right. This is uh, from naturalnews.com. It says Chinese whistleblower warns of the CCP has several viruses, bioweapons ready to be released at any time. All right. So, hey, more pestilence, more diseases. Actually, there was another article I had in here. Where is it? Oh, here it is. That's what I'm looking for. All right. I'm just showing some articles, man. All right. Another one. It says the war phase of the pandemic will urge a new slot urge in, in a global financial reset. And what's that financial reset, man? Everything going digital. All right. So the prophets have been warning you of these things to come. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna read a little. I'm not gonna read this, but you get the bet. All right. So without further ado, let's get some scriptures and we're gonna wrap this up. All right. Wrap it up. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sloppy, I'm sorry. All right. This is Luke 21 and verse 29. And he spake to them in a parable. Behold, the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is nigh at hand. All right. So, hey, we're getting close to the end of this damn devil's kingdom, man. Esau, Edom. All right, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows, man. All right, we're waiting on the MT, MOTB to be urshin in, made mandatory, and hey, all hell breaking loose, World War III, and then our salvation is near, man. Our salvation is right around the corner. Yahweh Shem Yahshua is going to come quickly, all right? Verse 31, so likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, Know ye that the kingdom of Yahweh is nigh at hand. The kingdom of heaven is nigh at hand, man. Our salvation is near. 
than when we believe. Like it tells you in Romans 13 and 11. All right. It's high time to awake out of sleep. All right. Verse 32. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away until all be fulfilled. All what be fulfilled? The prophecies of this Bible be fulfilled. All right. All right. Verse 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And what it tells you in uh, Isaiah 55, verse 11. Let's get that. Isaiah 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where I send it. Okay, so the words of the Lord, how about Shemiel Shai? It's going to hang. It's not going to return to him void, man. It's going to accomplish what he said, all right? What he said is going to happen. It's going to happen, all right? Let's get, a couple. Let's get another one. Isaiah 42 and verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and the new thing do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them, all right? So, hey, Yahweh about Shem Shai is not a man that he should not. Okay, let's get that scripture. Numbers 23 and verse 19. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man, which is Yahweh Shai, that he should repent. Have he said and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? All right, so these prophecies are going to come to pass, like it says. All right, Habakkuk, let's get that. I'm going to go back to Luke. All right, Habakkuk 2 and... Actually, I'm going to start at verse 1. All right. Have to do 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me up the tower. All right. And that's what the elect are doing. We're staying on our watch, man. We continue to watch the prophecies. And when we see something, we blow the trumpet. Okay. Have to do 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me up the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what shall I answer when I am reproved? Verse 2. And the Lord Yahabashim Yashai answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Verse 3, the point. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So these prophecies are no longer tarrying, man. Okay. So, hey, we almost got out of here, man. Okay. Let's go back here to Luke 21 and verse 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. All right, verse 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest any time your hearts of hearts be overcharged with suffiting, which means partying and bullshitting like two thirds of the year, like, all right, because Biden telling you those things are going to go back to normal. Two thirds of you wicked Israelites going to go back into the world, bullshitting, party, and then what's going to happen? All right, let's let's read on. Overcharged with suffering, drunkenness, and cares of this life, because two thirds of the years of life, you care about this life, you care about trying to make it, trying to you know, <laughs> want to travel, want to do this, want to do that. All right, and so that day come upon you unawares, and hey, the day of the Lord, how about Shin Yao Shai is gonna come up on two thirds of the years of life unaware, man. All right. It ain't going to come up on the elect anywhere because, hey, we're watching. Okay? Verse 35. For like as a snarky, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Alright? And it's going to come as a snare. Like it says, the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. Alright? Yeah, how about Shem Yashah? It's coming like a thief in the night, man. And as a matter of fact, let's get that. Since I mentioned it, let's get it. Uh, let's go to Revelation 3. And, yeah, let's get 3. Revelation 3 and 3. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief. And, hey, that's how the Lord Yahweh is going to come. If you don't watch and you only continue to watch the prophecies, the Lord's going to come up on you like a thief, man. Okay, and that shall, it's like, and thou shall not know what hour will I come upon thee. Okay, so hey, the day of the Lord is gonna catch a lot of two thirds of years when I off guard, man. 
Because y'all care about this life, okay? You care about, all right, the cares of this life, all right? Love the world. They love the world, the things that are in this world, man. And the Bible tells you to love not the world, not the things that are in the world, okay? Luke 21, verse 35, again, for as a snare, it's sloggy. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. Verse 36, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man, which is Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Watch and pray. All right. That you may be counted worthy to escape Jacob's trouble, escape the up and coming destruction of Babylon, the great America, and be delivered on the chariots of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, we are part of that number. All right. Let's read this. This is Mark 13 and verse. Mm, let's see. I'm going to read verse 32 and then I'm going to jump down to verse 35. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels which are in, he in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Only the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, knows when he's going to send his Son, Yahweh, shall to come back. All right? But we know that it's very close, okay? Actually, I'm going to read on, all right? Verse 33, take heed, take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is, okay? We don't know what time, we don't know when the time is, we don't know when your house shy is coming back, but through the Spirit and with watching the prophecies, we know that time is near, okay? We know that time is near, and hey, it's not far off anymore. We're close. Like I said, it ain't around the corner. It's at the door. Okay. Verse 34. For the son of man is as a man taking, taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the potter to watch. All right. The men of the Lord to watch, prophesy. Warn the sheep, warn the Israelites, Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, all right, to repent and come back to the Heavenly Father, how about Shem Yahweh Shai, before it's too late, okay? Verse 35, watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at evening, or at midnight, or at the cock, cock crowing, or in the morning, all right? So we don't know, but we have to watch. Okay, verse 36, when he's coming, suddenly he finds you sleeping, all right? And hey, two-thirds of our people, they sleep. They don't care about, they don't care. They don't care about, uh, you know, Yahweh about Shemiah Shai coming back. And hey, basically two-thirds of our people don't want Yahweh Shai to come back, all right? Just like these damn Edomites and these heathens, all right? But we do. We're ready to go home, man. We're ready to get the hell up out of here. All right. Verse 37. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. And that's what we're doing, man. We're watching. Okay. Let's, let's get uh, 2 Peter 3 and verse 9. I'm going to read all the way down. Okay. 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. For the Lord, Yahweh Shemesh, is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord Yahweh Shiyal Shah will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens pass shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. And how that's gonna happen? Via them ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay, verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Okay, well, how we should be conducting ourselves, man. Okay, verse 12, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with furtive heat. Verse 13, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. 
And that's what the elect is looking forward to, man. We're looking for a new heavens and a new earth, man. The kingdom of heaven to come, okay? Read that already. For that. All right. So let's get this, all right? And this is the next phase that they, you devils are coming with, all right? The next phase that's coming, all right? Because <laughs> they tell you things are going to go back to normal. As a matter of fact, let me get that. Yeah, let's get this, all right? That's where I'm going to start at verse 1. <clears throat> First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is so coming as a thief in the night. So the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is going to come like a thief in the night, man. Verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, they telling you you can go back to normal, telling you you can... You know, so-called take off your, you know, your mask, anything, all right? Because you can resume normal life, all right? <laughs> That's that peace and safety, man. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as to veil upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, okay? Sudden destruction is going to come upon two-thirds of Israelites, and you dumb, simple bird brain Americans, man, because y'all paying, because, hey, Y'all so in a hurry for things to go back to normal. Things ain't going to go back to normal, man. Okay? Verse 4. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Man, the elect is not in darkness, man. Okay? We're not in darkness. We're watching. Okay? Verse 5. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For that that for sleeping, for they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who is the elect, are of the, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. Man, okay, all right. So, hey, we're not in darkness, all right? Hey, two-thirds of our people that's in this world, man. Hey, they're in darkness. We're not, all right? We're the children of the day, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Sloppy, my allergies, all right? Revelations 13, verse 16. This is next, all right? And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Why you think they move removing those ATM machines, man? Okay? They're removing those things because <laughs> they're getting you ready for the next thing that's going to come. Okay? Verse 17. That no man might by himself say he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right? In order to, you know, pretty soon, in order to go into these stores, you're going to have to have that MOT to the B, man. The CHIP. Okay? Verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and this number is 603 score and 6. Okay, so that's the next thing that's coming. All right? And what's going to happen if you take that MOTB? Revelations 14, 9 and 10. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High Yahweh Shemashai, which is poured out without mention into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Okay? So, hey, you take that MOTB, you bow down to this beast system, you're going to be left here to be destroyed. When Yahweh Shai comes back via the ICBM nuclear missiles and the concentration laser chair fired from the chariots of the Lord Yahweh Shemashai. Okay? All right, so hey, don't be caught off guard, man, by this <laughs> this stuff that these devils trying to say, telling you peace and safety, all right? Because hey, Yahweh Shai's return is right is at right at the door, man. Just like these prophecies, these prophecies are popping off the pages, all right. So we don't have very long, man. The days are being shortened for the elect's sake. Okay, let's go here, Matthew twenty four. And I'm about to get ready to close out. All right, Matthew 24 and verse 20. Actually, I'm going to start at verse 20. 
But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no nor ever shall be. And they said, those days shall be shortened. There shall no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. The days are being shortened for the elect's sake. Okay? So we don't got very long. All right? So continue to watch. Continue to pray. Continue to fast. Like I said, it's pray without ceasing. All right? We almost out of here. All right? I'm in the lesson here. I pray this lesson was edifying. All praises to you. How about Shem Yahushai? How about Shem Rekakadash? Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who taught me this truth and double side taste to you, Akim, the man that a prophesied and named through the four ones of this earth is in truth with all righteousness and sincerity. See you with another lesson soon, Lord willing. Kwam Yashin Rahashan Wam, Wa Baba Ba, Ba the Wam, DTA, Baba Ba, man. Boom, Baba Ba, 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 Ba